In this video, I want to share with you how to add the Whiteside surfacing bit into your tool library. So stick around. Hey, what's going on guys? This is Edgar with AE Timber and Pine. And in this video, I want to take you step by step on how to add the Whiteside surfacing bit. This is a surface bit that I like to use and has worked out really well on my cutting boards. But even if you don't use this surfacing bit, you can follow the same process and the steps to add the surfacing bit of your choice. Before we get into it, guys, if you guys are getting value out of this channel and out of this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment of what you guys like about the channel or what you guys would like to see in the future. If you also want to help out a little bit more, make sure to take a look at the Patreon account. You can become a patron or pick up some merch such as this shirt. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right guys, jumping into Carbide Create, the very first thing that you guys wanna do is create the vector for your surfacing toolpath. So whatever you're surfacing, make sure that you are um, creating a vector that is larger than the area. I won't go too much into it. Go ahead and take a look at the video at the end of this video to show you how you can use your CNC as a planer that goes over the process of using the surfacing bit. In this video, we're just focusing on adding the surfacing bit to your library, to the tool library. So go ahead and select the vector. Go ahead and click on pocket. Use current selection. We're going to edit the tool. We're going to select a tool. Here in your tool library, you can see that all these are locked. You can't edit these. So what you need to do is you need to duplicate your library or create a new library. I also have a video on that. So go ahead and take a look at that. Once you get your duplicated or new library, go ahead and select it, right click, and then click new tool and go ahead and click on end mill, select the most appropriate unit for you. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it in inches. Once we get to this screen, we'll add all the information for the particular bit that you're adding. So in this particular case, I'm using the 6210 white side surfacing bit in the model i'll go ahead and enter 6210 vendor is white side tool number is 6210 again the diameter is one inch for the plunge rate i'm going to use 10 for the feed rate 100 rpm is going to be 13,000. the initial depth per pass is going to be 0 0.05 for the 3d speeds and feeds I'll go ahead and update the feed rate to 100. RPM is staying at 13,000 and the step over will be 70%. Go ahead and click OK. When you now look at your library, you're going to see that you have the new tool here added. When you select it, you'll now see all the parameters that we've just entered and you're ready to go. So go ahead and click on the video on your screen at the end of this video and you'll see how you can set up the surfacing pass. Thank you guys and I hope this helps. If you guys like this video, make sure to take a look at the videos on your screen now. I think you're gonna like those as well. Thank you guys and I'll see you soon.